there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to treat a cat with a lime sulfur dip. It's really easy and when done correctly is a safe and effective treatment for cats with ringworm, feline lice, and scabies. This is Gretel. She's seven months old and was rescued from a cat hoarder situation. And she has lice and sarcoptic mange, also known as scabies. The clinic gave her a topical medication to kill the scabies mites. And I'm gonna follow up by giving her two lime dip baths per week. Lime sulfur dip solution is something you can buy in pet supply stores, uh, farm supply stores, or online. All right, let's get started. But first, you need to understand that lime dip usually comes in a concentrated form, so you have to mix it with water before you use it. Be sure to read and follow the directions on the bottle. If you don't dilute it properly, you could hurt the kitty's skin. This stuff can be pretty caustic. I like to mix with warm water. It's just more comfortable for the kitty. You can do the dip bath in a bathtub, in a bucket, in a sink, wherever it's safe and easy. And make sure you're using rubber gloves too because the lime dip can be irritating to your skin. You don't want the solution to get into the cat's eyes. So what I do is I drop a couple of drops of just artificial tears into each eye. And then I also put a dab of Vaseline or petroleum jelly around each eye to help deflect any liquid that might run into the eyeball. Now it's time to dip your kitty. And of course, all cats are different when it comes to getting baths. Little Gretel here is a champ. Sometimes they are not as cooperative, but you wanna make sure that you are pouring the solution thoroughly over the coat and making sure you're soaking the fur so that the solution gets to the skin because that's where it really needs to be. Around the face, you want to use a washcloth and then you can rub the solution around the face and the nose and under the chin and the ears, avoiding the eyes. I like to pour the dip in a bathtub or a sink or a container where it pools in the bottom because that way the feet and the tail get really soaked with the solution. You don't rinse lime dips. This is really important. You don't wanna wash the dip off. It should just stay on the fur. Be sure to dry off your kitty really, really thoroughly, especially if it's cold outside and especially if it's a kitten. Cats can lose body heat really, really fast. So make sure they are completely dried off. I'm gonna repeat this lime dip for Gretel twice a week for the next few weeks until the vet has said that her scabies and her lice are gone. She was a really good girl through this ordeal. And a few days later, you can tell she's already looking better. Her skin just doesn't look as inflamed. So the dip is working. I hope you found this video helpful. And Kitten School Channel is chock full of tips, stories, and inspiration about everything cats and kittens. So if you haven't already, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now!